and we should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. Sheffield Wednesday today, and they play Bolton Wanderers. Sheffield Wednesday looking for a response, really, because that home loss in their last game was a real blow against Ipswich Town. Yeah, plenty that was wrong in that 2-1 defeat, but uh, a few things that they would have built on as well, and uh, particularly the strikers who, who are dangerous on the day, and I think they can win it for their team today. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Let's have a look at the way Bolton Wanderers are going to play today with these players. Probing with the pass. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game, but I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. He can't have scored many better than this with the bend he's imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. It's Bolton Wanderers who are in front then here. Carl Henry. I like the look of this attack. Played back. Adam Lafondre. Shots on here. Oh, what a game! They've equalised. Both sides really attacking better than they're defending. And from the neutral point of view, that's really exciting. Level again. Oh. Well, they call it his weaker side. Not too weak, that. Didn't look that way, did it, Martin? He took a little chance there, and he's uh, really been rewarded for it. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Darren Prattley. Little. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. We can put them in front. Off the bar, Pratley, wonderful header. Oh, lovely glance, that. Well, that header flew in for a fine goal. Well, it wasn't just about the quality of header. That was good enough, but the movement that allowed him to find that space, that was the good bit. Well, this is a goal right out of the Alan Smith history book. Don't think I ever got one quite as good as this. What a finish from the lad. So Bolton Wanderers are in front here. Good forward play from them. Wheater. Little private game between the two of them. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. Adam Lafondre. Neatly intercepted. Bit of pressure on the player, that's why it's gone out. It's with De Jong. Hunt. Crisp defending there. Here's Taylor. Boy. Darren Prattley. Adam Lafondre. It's looking good, this move. Addison. And he scores to equalise. the equaliser has happened took perhaps the opposition by surprise but we're level again it's what they've deserved two teams brilliantly matched in this contest it's level again Beavers well, where are we with today's visitors Alan after five defeats in a row it's bleak it is bleak and uh, this is when you need your big characters just to rally the troops and make sure that heads don't drop
Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. Let's look at it again. Corner's taken. Well, he's hit the man guarding the front post. It's a poor corner. And Kieran Westwood does his job easily. Boyd. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Good punch from the goalkeeper from the cross. It's always good to see the advantage rule applied and the beneficiaries here are Bolton. Now that's a throw. Darren Prattley. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Taylor coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. To put them in front. Important challenge now, he must get the ball away. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Into the attacking third. And shoots! Threw everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Hunt. Here's a chance. And it's into the back of the net. And they're in front now. A goal here to Saver. Oh, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Oh, well, he's just wanted that more than his opposite number. It's a really good finish. Bolton Wanderers anxious to get on with it, a goal down. On to the attack now. Adam Lafondre. Little. He's got his shot off now. Well, he has cleared the danger. Well, then it goes. Defended well. Throw in here. Here's Taylor. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Delivered into the box. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Hunt. Neatly intercepted. Here's Taylor. They could pose some danger now. Jem Karajan came in with a challenge. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Played in the clear. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Three-two, that's the half-time. Let's have a look at the way... So we're all set for the second half. On the move and able to cut out the pass. There's going to be a throw in after that tackle. Now Hunt. Here's De Jong. On the attack here. Must score! That's fine work from the goalkeeper against an opponent who certainly troubled him today. Well, his teammates should be thanking him. 
because really the striker was favourite and I thought he was going to score. Well, sitting back, it's a bit of a policy here and letting the opposition come at them, risky. He's got it away and that's what you have to do. And it is a, a header away and out of play. Jem Karajan. Adam Lafond. Little. A lot. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. Jem Karajan. That's a free kick against Sheffield Wednesday. I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well-deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. Anderson. Fox. He's coming forward with some danger. Darren Prattley. Adam Lafondre. Westwood. How about Bolton's next game? Yeah, they're playing Aston Villa, aren't they, in their next match in the Championship. And they're not in the best of form, and I think it will be difficult. Here's Lee. Fox. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. He's got his shot off now. Good defending. Jem Karajan. Oh, he's through. The shot's on. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. It's hard to shut up shop, even with a substitution here, but that's what he's going to try to do, I think. It's King. Turn pass. Good forward play from them. He's had a go. He's blocked the shot well. Boyd. Fox. It's King. Jem Karajan. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Came in with a challenge. Jem Karajan. Darren Prattley. It's King. He's got support here. Taking on the defenders. I must say the defender <laughs> took a chance and got away with it. No cross, good block. And the ball's with Anderson. Into the attacking third. Didn't quite get that one, as we thought. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Beavers. Jem Karajan. Taylor. And it's Out of play. Well, the manager will be delighted with the way his team have played so far, but he's going to make a substitution here just to uh, hope that he can retain this lead. Man, there's life, there's hope, but there's not much life in the game. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think, because we well, could be in. In with a chance. Hit the bar. Promising build up until that challenge. 
quick header, found a teammate. It's going to go right to the wire here with this one goal lead. And the supporters, well, they've upped their game, there's no question about that. Just listen to them. Yeah, they've been brilliant, but it's been a close game and you wouldn't put it past the visitors to, to nick a goal back. Getting forward well as a team now. In with a chance. And it's a goal. It's another chance. And another goal for a team that's really dominating this match. And they are the better side. And now the scoreline absolutely shows that. Goals 4 2 is the score. Jem Karajan. Attacking well here. He's through here. Credit to them, they're still having a go here. Although, if they got that one in, it really would have been game on. Yeah, I mean, the two goals down, but they haven't played badly. And if that had gone in, that'd have gained some faith and confidence. Well, he's got support here. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Well, There's good progress with this attack. We've given it straight to the opposition. <laughs> Delivered into the box. And the ball's in. It's a goal. Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes? I'm not sure, but... He's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Well, that is delightfully taken. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, it was a striker's instinct there because there wasn't a lot of room in that box. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. Goalkeeper hangs on. Here. Well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match. Let's have a look at the way. The Football Association Challenge Cup quarter final Everton nil, West Bromwich Albion two, Preston North End two, Manchester.